It happened. The Tesla Roadster 2022 is finally here. The original Tesla Roadster put the all-electric automaker on the map, even if most Model S and Model X buyers don't remember it. Originally slated to make its return in 2021, the new model hasn't yet hit the market, leading us to believe it's been delayed. The second-generation Roadster bests its predecessor by adding two small rear seats, significantly more driving range, and a much higher level of performance. Tesla CEO Elon Musk boasted about a 1.9-second 60 mph time and a 250 mph top speed when the Roadster concept was unveiled back in 2017 figures we very much hope will prove accurate when this sports car finally arrives. The Roadster will be a new addition to the Tesla lineup when it eventually enters production, resurrecting the nameplate worn by the company's first model back in 2008. Tesla originally announced the sports car as a 2021 model, but since then we've heard nothing, so we expect the Roadster has been delayed. Tesla claims it will offer the base Roadster for $200,000 and a limited edition Founders Series for $50,000 more. We have no details on what differentiates the two, other than the fact that only 1,000 Founders Series models will be built. If you're a collector, perhaps it's worth the extra dough, otherwise save your money. We'll update this story with more information about the car's standard and optional features when those details become available. When the new Tesla Roadster was unveiled as a concept in November 2017, Musk touted some pie-in-the-sky performance numbers for this car, including a 60 mph time of 1.9 seconds, a top speed of more than 250 mph, and a quarter-mile time of just 8.8 .8 seconds. That's outrageous. For reference, if that 60 mph time holds up, it will mean the Roadster is a full second quicker than its key rival, the gasoline-powered McLaren 570S. Also during this conference, Musk noted that the Roadster will come with standard all-wheel drive. This is less surprising. Tesla's mainstream EV models utilize two electric motors one at the front and one at the rear to drive all four wheels, so it makes sense we'd see the same setup for the Roadster. The 200 kWh battery is said to provide up to 620 miles of range, but certainly that number will be achievable only under very light use hitting the track for some flat-out hot laps will cut that estimate considerably. The EPA hasn't released its ratings for the Roadster's fuel economy, but those details are sure to emerge closer to the car's on-sale date. We hope to have a chance to test the new Roadster. If when we do, we'll put it through our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test and report its results here. For now, the Roadster is merely a concept, and in general, concepts change drastically during their development into production models. As shown, the Roadster concept features a removable glass panel roof, which you can stow in the trunk. It has four seats, but the rear ones look as though they may not fit adults, given the Roadster's dramatically angled roofline. Other than that, we expect to see Tesla's signature minimalist interior design repeated here. In the concept's design, a large touchscreen extends from the top of the dash all the way to the center console, with a cubby underneath it for storage. No vehicle in Tesla's lineup offers services such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or Amazon Alexa compatibility, and we don't expect that to change with the Roadster. In fact, if the infotainment system in the Model 3 sedan is any indication of what we'll see in the Roadster, buyers shouldn't expect to find AM radio or Sirius XM in this car. We think it likely that Tesla will provide an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, Spotify integration, and a host of visual entertainment apps such as Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube to keep drivers entertained while parked and charging. The next-gen Tesla Roadster would need to one-up every other Tesla if it wants to be the flagship for the company. However, seeing Tesla continuously upgrading the Model S to industry-leading performance levels, one wonders how far it can go with the sedan. Well, Elon Musk, co-founder and CEO, Tesla, finally has an answer. Since the Roadster is still only a concept, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, have not had the chance to perform crash tests. We expect Tesla will offer all its latest and greatest driver assistance technology on the Roadster, including its famous autopilot semi-autonomous driving system. Unveiling the all-new Roadster in November 2017, Musk said, expect this to be available in 2020. 
multiple factors have repeatedly delayed the launch, and it's also possible that the company's priorities changed later. Now, if no other issues crop up following the COVID-19 pandemic and the semiconductor shortage, the all-new Roadster could go on sale in 2023. Yes, that'd be a five-year gap between the product unveiling and market launch. Musk expects the supply chain to normalize by 2023. Tesla could then start producing its statement-making all-new Roadster, which we expect to come with all of its next-gen EV technologies, something that would mean an electronics-intensive hardware package. Reports say that Tesla will deploy its new 4680 battery cell format in the 2023 Roadster. The company has named the new format after its dimensions. 80 mm in length and around 46 mm in diameter. Andrew Baglino, senior vice president, powertrain and energy engineering, Tesla, has said that the 4680 cells can offer far more power and increased range. Putting the 4,680 cells into series production is a challenge, and Tesla will take some time to sort it out. Musk revealed this development at the company's Q2 2021 earnings conference call. In the same call, Buglino revealed that Tesla has successfully validated the performance and lifetime durability of the 4,680 cells. The 4680 cells will go into many Tesla models, not just the 2023 Roadster, and the Model Y is likely to be among the first. The 4680 cells won't be low-volume technology limited to the most expensive Teslas. That is why the company is in talks with several suppliers to order them in large quantities. Reports suggest that Samsung SDI, LG Energy Solutions, Panasonic, and CATL could manufacture the new format cells for Tesla. A report from 36 Krona, Com suggests that cell production could begin in 2022. Tesla initially priced the new Roadster at $200,000 in the base trim and at $250,000 in the priority delivery, first 1,000 units, founder's series trim. While reservations are still open, Tesla has removed the prices from its website. In the US, customers need to place a deposit of $50,000, an initial $5,000 credit card payment, and then a $45,000 wire transfer payment due in 10 days. Perhaps, Tesla removed prices from the website because it can no longer promise the initially announced prices for new reservations. The company could announce a price hike closer to launch. In the past few years, Tesla has proven that electric vehicles can be desirable, have high performance, and be used as everyday cars. Tesla, with its facilities in the cradle of innovation, Silicon Valley, also holds an advantage over traditional automakers because it attracts some of the world's best talent. Tesla has learned some important lessons about bringing new technology to the market regarding transforming the auto industry. That's at the end of the video. Hope you like this video plus thank you for spending some time with us and please let us know in the comments section below about the video. A gentle reminder subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one and also press the bell icon to get notified about our new uploads. Hey people you thought it was great to see this video, if you want to see which videos we have on our channel then you can click above.